Welcome to the advice show media with the common sense approach. So the house armed services committee has voted with a vote of 32 to 30 to put in the 2017 national defense authorization act for women to register for the selective service. Now there was a lot of Democrats that was very approving of this. Um, they said it's a right step in the right direction because it was changed in the military where women can now be in all combat roles. Now we read on Facebook, a lot of comments uh, from people and a lot of people was very upset by this. You just had a very minimum that was in support of this. Now we see that, you know, women going to have to register and it goes back to a lot of people feel that, you know, I don't want my daughter uh, have to register for the draft. Why should she have to do that? But this is what happens when you have feminism running rampant in the country, because when you have feminism, this is the result of it. See, some people don't realize what they're doing until it gets out of hand. And then now they don't want to call it back because you have some of these feminists who's very upset by this. They don't want their daughters uh, being put in the draft. I don't want my daughter being put in the draft. But now it's probably a possibility if they take one more vote on this situation. Now, you imagine putting an 18 year old girl out there uh, just to a battlefield in the Middle East. And you know, these politicians in this country, they get involved with all these wars and they send your children to fight these battles. The Donald Trump's of the world, you know, the rich elite people, that's why I'm just using his name or the Hillary Clinton's of the world. They talk all this crap. And then who go down on the battlefield? Your children, not uh, Hillary Clinton's children, not Donald Trump's children, or none of the senators, or none, of the, none of the people in the House, or none of the people who's making all these decisions about war every five minutes. Your children go out there to die. But this is something that I feel just in my heart about that. If they do a draft, I don't think it's going to be very good in this country. I, it's going to be bad. I just cause I see the climate of this country now. People are not going to put up with their kids being ripped out of their homes to go in some foreign battle uh, ground for a politician's war. Because you, you just think about it. Most of the wars and, and battles that we're fighting is not even justified. Let's think about that. We're in Syria right now. Why? Why are the, the troops in Syria? They, the Syrian people didn't do us nothing. I can care less. Like I tell people, I can care less what they do to each other over there. Just as long as they don't come over here and do it. Then that's the attitude that we need to have. We need to stop being the world police. We need to stop trying to be on this world domination kick. But they've been on that. In order for them to maintain their power, they got to be world domination. Instead of taking care of the issues at home, and, and, and you know, they're talking about the border and all this other stuff. Why don't you go help the countries on this hemisphere so you won't have these problems? People coming in on an influx. But you won't help them. You worry about spending all this money in the Middle East and you're trying to sit up here and being controlled by the Zionists over there in the Middle East fighting their wars when it has nothing to do with you. That's the stuff that get on our nerves. But this country is warmongering. They fight too much. They always want to be getting involved with people's conflicts. Now they were talking about they want to draft your daughters now. Now, some people may say, well, they're drafting our sons. Why they won't? Why they, they can draft the girls too? You know what? I, that, it wouldn't be good on the draft even for these boys nowadays because, because you think about it. This country is not what it used to be. We have a very weak and feminized male now in this society, in all groups. Parents go to jail for disciplining their children. You know, uh, you can't say nothing to nobody anymore because it hurts their feelings and all this other stuff. So how in the world are you going to rip out a boy from that environment, the skinny jean, tight wind, you can't breathe, backpack, iPhone types, and put them on the battlefield and not in basic training? A lot of people who try to even go to basic training don't even make it. That happens all the time. But this is what the Democrats is pushing. And this is what feminists have finally got what they wanted. So there you go. Now we all got to suffer because of the feminists. So make sure when you see your next feminist group, thank them uh, for possibly having your daughter having to register for the draft. Make sure you join me May 21st at the Shrine of Black Madonna here in Houston, Texas uh, for the Black Male Summit. I will be speaking there. I would like to speak with you after the event. If you come, just to thank you for the support. If you would like me to come to your city and state and speak at your event, 
event, you can email me at theadvisorshow at gmail.com. We'll work out the details and hopefully we will see you there. Make sure you check out the link in the description box to our the studio we're building as one campaign. We're building a TV ready studio, but we need your help. Please donate. Hit me up in the comments. Use the commentaries. Subscribe.